is a uh, sort of a Indian summer day today. It's nice weather. Uh, it's in the mid to high 40s. It's supposed to reach about 50 today. And um, haven't had the BMW out for a little while. I wanted to get the fluids moving. And um, so, uh, for those of you that uh, that know me know that uh, I don't I don't have a garage that I can park cars in. It is storage and workshop space for me. So, uh, but this particular car we bought not as a daily driver, but as a, uh, a weekend fun car. As such, didn't want it subjected to uh, to harsh winter weather, um, the wetness and uh, salt and that. So um, we uh, we do have a, a neighbor, well actually a relative that um, allows us to park the car in their garage and um, I shovel their driveway in exchange for being able to park in their garage. They don't use the garage anyway. So as long as I keep the driveway shoveled, I'm allowed to, uh, to park the BMW in the garage. This keeps the nastiness off of it and um, just uh, will preserve the car. As it is, we don't put a huge number of miles on this car. Uh, we put um, see about 7,000 miles on it since we bought it. We bought it in May 2019, so it's probably going to see that about seven or 7,500 miles a year, somewhere in that uh, in that vicinity. And um, so uh, definitely uh, a car that we enjoy, but not something that we want to to take out uh, just you know uh, at, at every whim. It's definitely got to be nice enough weather for it and uh, to justify it. So, but uh, I have the seat heat cranked, I have the, uh, the cabin heat cranked, and uh, just out enjoying the day. And uh, I'm sure this video will probably aggravate uh, the, uh, the Tesla owners that watch my channel, but I mean, let's be honest, it's uh, if, if I could buy a car like this electric, I would. And um, if I had the time and resources to convert a car like this to electric, I probably would. But I don't have the, I need indoor shop space to do it. I really don't have the time. I could probably afford to do it, but I really don't have the time for it. So uh, it was always my wife's dream to have a BMW convertible. Uh, I've wanted a convertible for some time, and um, I'm not against BMW. I know that that uh, they have a, a bit of a reputation for reliability uh, concerns. Although there's a bunch of there's a bunch of information regarding that that I really don't want to get into. But um, they are uh, they're actually wonderful cars. This car drives very similar to my Tesla Model Three, and uh, in that regard, it's a very familiar car when I get into. The steering has a similar feel to the Tesla. The suspension does, the, how firmly planted it is. I definitely can tell that the center of gravity isn't as low in this car, just being that uh, it doesn't have an 1,100 pound battery beneath the floor like the Model 3 does. But, uh, but it's a wonderful driving car and uh, very fast, very fast car. This is actually uh, faster than my Tesla Model 3. It is. Um, puts it uh, right about where um, long range uh, all wheel drive uh, Model 3 without the $2,000 performance upgrade is at. So so again, a uh, quick car, quick car, it definitely, uh, it definitely pulls you back. So um, yeah, I like it. Uh, it doesn't have the instant torque that uh, obviously that uh, an electric Tesla has, but, but it's a wonderful Car. And again, it's a, it's a convertible. It's also it's a four seat convertible, which is great because uh, in the summertime, normally when we take this car out, we typically take it out uh, with friends. We like to enjoy this car with other people. That was a, a big part of the reason we bought it. And um, it was one of those deals where a lot of people we knew had boats or a vacation home or whatever, and, and uh, we didn't have any of that. And uh, so my wife says, well. You know, no boat, no vacation home, you know, none of this, none of that. Why don't we go ahead and do this? And um, so now uh, I'll be getting a, uh, a Tesla Roadster. I have a 40 plus percent uh, discount on the Roadster. So when that comes
comes in, it's a target top. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that car as far as uh, longevity, how long we're going to have it, but uh, that car may indeed replace this car if we choose to obtain the Roadster and keep it for a duration, which is a distinct possibility. So you never know, this car may only have a, a limited shelf life in our family, but until that point, I'm just going to enjoy driving it. And um, you know, again, I know you guys don't like seeing this car on the channel because it's a, you know, it's a gas car. It's not an EV, but it's a car that I enjoy. Uh, I actually love this car, and uh, you know, it's um, most people that have EVs have gas cars as well. And I like Jay Leno's mindset on this. Um, when asked about performance cars and gas versus electric and that. Uh, I like Jay's mindset. He said, you know what? He said, I think that ultimately what's best for the environment and culture and that is to do the bulk of your errand running and normal driving in an EV or just a, a super efficient vehicle of some sort that is good for the environment. And then if you've got, he mentioned a Hemi Cuda. He's got uh, Hemi uh, Barracudas and, and you know, high performance cars that are like six miles to the gallon. He said, you save those for that you know, little 20 minute drive on the weekend or, or whatever, or a, you know, a, a trip to a car show or something. And I really like that, that perspective, that mindset. And uh, this car definitely fits in that category. It's not a daily driver for us. It's something that we enjoy on occasion. So, you know, there's no, no guilt or anything related to the use of this car. Uh, I do believe that more people should move to EVs uh, I think that most people could afford it, and uh, most people, at least in, in my general area, could afford a decent EV, and I think it would be wise for them to to choose an EV for their day-to-day -day driving. And again, if you have a performance car, Corvette, or a, you know something like that, a car like this, enjoy it on the weekends, and you know don't feel bad about it, but also, in our area, what bothers me is to see high-performance cars and large you know, suburbans and, and expeditions and that driving around with one person behind the wheel as their daily driver. And a lot of people sort of uh, operate that way in their lives. That does bother me. That's It's hard in the environment and it is wasteful. And, uh, and I've heard people say, well, it's my money, I can do what I want. Well, kind of. I mean, with this car, it's my money, I can do what I want. But also, again, it's... Um, I think that cars like this are, uh, there's nothing wrong with using them on a regular basis. Uh, you know, I've considered, uh, I've considered taking this car, my wife and I, going on a, a tour around the country with it. And I, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but I, again, I go back to, I think the bulk of miles should be put on EVs for day-to-day -day transportation, air and running and that, and then save, uh, save less efficient cars like this or, you know, weekend drives. I, I think within the next few years, uh, that'll even be a moot point because we will have performance electric options that fit a niche like this car fits. And so uh, this discussion may be completely moot within just a few years, but we're not there just yet. As this video comes to a close, just... Uh Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day now. Take it easy.